What's up, movie fans, and welcome back to David Lee Movie Vlog. Now, today I'll be taking a look at the film Taken 3. Liam Neeson has been framed for the murder of his ex-wife. He is now on the run from the cops, and he's on the hunt for the person that killed his wife. Can he do it all in one day? Well, of course he can. He's freaking Liam Neeson. Now, the thing that I was not expecting was this director. He goes and takes a franchise like Taken. Taken 2 was absolutely horrible, but when I look at the trailers of Taken 3, I thought... Maybe you're on the right track with this film. I mean, you have him on the run. It seems something a little bit different. And yes, it is different. But oh my God. When this director wants to direct an action sequence, what does he do? It looked like he went to the Michael Bay School of Directing. And he just failed miserably. I mean, there are se there are moments in here where you see an action sequence. And it's a millisecond cut, millisecond cut, millisecond cut. Punch here, punch there. Look at Liam Neeson's face. And it all becomes just such a jumbled mess that you're just thinking to yourself, what am I actually watching on screen? And almost comes seizure-inducing as well. But then, this film recognized what it was, was a corny mess. And it just took the corniness up to a nether level, where it just said to itself, fuck it. I am going to go all out, and I'm going to be the crappiest action film that you've ever seen. But... You're going to laugh and you're going to have fun while watching this terrible, terrible film. And laugh I did. I mean, you have Forrest Whitaker in there who's supposed to be the one that's on par with Liam Neeson. He's the one who's hunting him down. And when you're watching him on screen, you're thinking to yourself, I know you can do a lot better. Just a little ticks that this guy has, you can definitely tell he's basically just cashing it in the whole way through. And most likely just eating everything that's on set. Because when you're watching this film, Pay close attention to everything that this guy eats. I mean, he's eating things out of the trash can. He's eating evidence. There's nothing that this man will not eat, but he wants to stop Liam Neeson, no matter what. And then you have the bad guys in this film. Now, the bad guys, the only reason why you know that they're a bad guy is A, because they have tattoo, B, because they have an accent, and C, because they love wearing tidy whities while they have an action sequence. And when you guys see these tidy whities, you are going to laugh your fucking ass off and say to yourself, did this film just go there? And oh my god, it does. Taken 3 is not a film that you're going to go into and think to yourself, this is the best action film that ever happened. No, you're going to say to yourself that this is a film that's on par with a film like Batman and Robin. If there is one thing that's going to kill Liam Neeson's action career, it's going to be Taken 3. And I'm sad to say that his run has finally ran out. So I'm going to give Taken 3 a D. Have you seen the film and what do you guys think about it? And do you think that this is going to be a film that's going to kill Liam Neeson's action career? Let me know down below. And as always, people, my name is David Lee. You can follow me on Twitter. The link's down below. And I'll see you guys next time.